Pasadena, California, in the long-awaited meeting of Wisconsin and Southern California in the famous Rose Bowl. But before the game begins, let's join this holiday crowd. Opening this 64th annual Tournament of Roses Parade is the traditional chariot carrying the trumpeters. Grand Marshal is Vice President-elect Richard Nixon, accompanied by Mrs. Nixon. And William Nicholas is the president of the Tournament of Roses Association. And here comes the Queen's float. Leah Phelan, the beautiful Rose Queen with the brown hair and eyes, rides in state on a lyre back thrown made of sweet peas. The entire base of the float is red roses. Next, it's the University of Wisconsin band with a color guard and 160 musicians. Smartly dressed in their black uniforms, trimmed in white, they move briskly down the colorful parade route. Wisconsin's breathtaking float presents the state's beautiful scenery, its dairy industry, and represents its team in the Big Ten Conference. The sweepstakes award goes to the city of Glendale for the most beautiful float entry. Theme of this 64th annual parade is Melodies and Flowers, and Glendale's float title is Madam Butterfly. Waiting for the Robert E. Lee is the title of St. Louis' spectacular float. Chrysanthemums, croton leaves, and carnations make up this beautiful entry. The theme prize is won by the City of Long Beach entry. Sitting on top of the world is the title of this magnificent float. And Miss United States of America is literally sitting on top of the world on this one. But now it's getting near kickoff time. And along with the thousands of other football fans, let's move on to this New Year's classic that's been so eagerly awaited throughout the nation, Pasadena's famed Rose Bowl. The big question today is whether the University of Wisconsin's Badgers can grab another victory for the Big Ten. And as Coach Ivy Williamson's squad roars out on the field, they're greeted by a thunderous ovation that swells from thousands of Badger fans. And as the Wisconsin squad goes into its pregame warm-up, a new tenseness begins to crackle in the air. Coach Ivy Williamson and Wisconsin team Cap Roger O'Brien get together for some last-minute game strategy. Field general for the Badgers will be pass pitching Jim Haluska. Place kicking specialist is Paul Schwaco. While power-driven Alan Amici will be holding down the fullback spot. Half Jerry Witt will supply the speed in the Wisconsin offense along with Harlan Carl, a fast and hard-running speedster. And here come the Trojans of Southern California. A deafening rumble rolls out of this huge stadium as the champions of the Pacific Coast Conference make their appearance. Al Carmichael fills one of the halfback spots for the Trojans. A scrappy and rugged linebacker is 180-pound Marvin Goo. All-American selection and outstanding player is halfback Jimmy Sears. Rudy Bukic is a sharp shooting passer and a good runner. An outstanding bulwark of the Trojan defensive wall is George Timberlake. And All-American Elmer Wilhoyt is the Trojans' key defensive lineman. Coach Jess Hill keeps a close watch on his Trojan squad during the pregame warm-up. While on the other side of the field, Wisconsin's cheerleaders go into action. And now Wisconsin's famous band marches out to add to this pregame color. The warm, sunny January afternoon is one of color, music, gaiety, laced with a tingling of expectancy and excitement. With Southern California's colorful band coming onto the gridiron, the 100,000 fans sense that this great class is just about to get underway. Captain George O'Brien of Wisconsin, Lou Welch, and Bob Van Dorn of Southern Cal meet for the flip of the coin. SC wins the toss. Immediately below us, the Wisconsin squad takes its last-minute huddle, while on the far side of the field, the Trojans gather around their coach. Excitement grips the entire stadium as 1953's Rose Bowl game is ready to begin. Southern California winning the toss will receive the kickoff, and Jerry Worman kicks off for Wisconsin. Jim Sears takes it on Southern Cal's three-yard line. It's a 26-yard return, and it's Southern Cal's ball first and 10 on their own 29-yard line. Sears with the ball. Pass to Tom Nikoloff, complete. Good for a gain of 11 yards, and it's a first down for the Trojans. First and 10 now on their own 40-yard line. Sears with the ball again. Pass out to the right, goes over the head of the target, Rudy Bukic. 
It was a lateral pass, and it's a 20-yard loss. Second down, 30 yards to go for Southern California now on their own 20-yard line. Sears with the ball again. Pass complete to Leon Sellers. He slips. Goes for the two-yard gain. George O'Brien was there to make the stop. And it's third down and 28 yards to go for the Trojans on their own 22-yard line. Sears with the ball. Tom Nikoloff the target. Too far over the head of Nikoloff incomplete. Fourth and 28 in punt formation with Des Cook back. Bill Hutchinson gets the ball. And Hutchinson returns 17 yards to the 50-yard line where Wisconsin takes over first and 10. No score in the game. Jim Haluska with the ball, keeping it. Charlie Annie is there and brings him down. A loss of one yard, second down and 11. Wisconsin's ball now on their own 49. Alan Amici takes it. No gain as Charliani comes through to spill him again. Third down, 11 yards to go. The Badgers ball on their own 49. Luska gives the ball to Bill Hutchinson, and again, Charliani is in on the tackle. He's dropped the gain of a yard. Marv Goo, the linebacker, helping out on the play. So that makes it fourth down and 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50-yard line. Wendell Gulseth back in punt formation for Wisconsin. Jim Sears with the ball. And he has stopped on the two-yard line. Southern California first and ten on their own two-yard line. No score in the game. The fullback, Leon Sellers, trying right tackle, makes a yard. Makes it second down and nine. Now and the ball is out on the three. Sellers again. Makes two yards this time. Roger Dornberg making the tackle. A quick kick by Rudy Bukic. Paul Schweiko catching up to that football. And Tom Nikoloff brings him down for Southern California. A 60-yard quick kick, a return of two yards, and it's the Badgers' ball first and ten on their own 37-yard line. Fullback Alan Amici takes the ball. Plowing straight ahead. He's good for four yards. Wisconsin's ball. Second down and six on their own 41. Amici again. Off right tackle. No gain on the play. And Bill Hattig in to make the tackle for the Trojans. Third and six. Still on the 41-yard line for Wisconsin. Aluska back, fakes a pass, pitches out to Bill Hutchinson. Trying to go wide to the right, he is thrown for a loss of eight yards. Bill Hattick again making the stop for Southern California, and it's fourth down and 14 yards to go. Wendell Galseth back in punt formation for Wisconsin. Jim Sears signals for a fair catch. A 38-yard kick, and Southern California has the ball first and 10 on their own 29-yard line. Fullback Leon Sellers trying the middle of the Badger line. Makes four yards. Roger Dornberg and George O'Brien making the tackle, and it's second and six for the Trojans now on their own 33. George Bozanic with the ball. Pitches it out to Jim Sears. That behind the line of scrimmage, it's a loss of four yards on that play as Jerry Werman came up quickly. Third down and ten yards to go now for Southern California on their own 29. 
Jim Sears with the ball back to pass. Pegs it complete to end Tom Nikoloff. Eight yard gain on the play. Makes it fourth down and two yards to go. The Trojans on their own 37. Des Cook back to punt. Paul Schwaco waiting for the ball. Takes it on the Wisconsin 14 yard line. A 50 yard kick, a return of eight yards. Ken Thompson made the tackle, and it's first and 10 for Wisconsin on their own 22. Aluska hands to Amici. No gain as he tries the middle of the line. Bob Van Dorn was there. Second down and 10 now for the Badgers on their own 22 yard line. Ball given over to Jerry Witt, wide to the left. Carliani was the first of several to hit him. It's a two yard gain to make it third down and eight yards to go. Badgers ball on their own 24 yard line. Amici takes it again. Tries the right side of the line, makes only two yards. Charliani and Bill Hattig both in there to bring him to the ground. And it's well, Bravey, we're liable to see that break most any minute. Gulseth is in kick formation, standing on the Wisconsin 15 yard line, and fourth and six for the Badger. Gets the boot away, he's rushed. Gets it away, nice kick going way downfield to the 22 yard line. It's picked up there by Carmichael. Carmichael coming back to the 30 yard line, to the 35 yard line, before he's hit the stop by Sensby. Sensby making the stop, along with Emerson. That's Norman Amundsen from Chicago. Boy, Amundsen, number 60, 195 pounds, Chicago sophomore. Playing for Wisconsin up in the line. Now let's see, Southern California going on the offense on their own 35-yard line, 15 yards in the sideline on this side of the field. Single wing with Bukic, coming way out wide to the right. Rudy Bukic, Bukic is at halfback now with a reverse over to Al Carmichael. The reverse going off the left side of the line, picking up to the 37-yard line. The boy is hit the stop by Don Voss, the defensive right end of Wisconsin. Ball on the 37-yard line, he the between sidelines. And for the Trojans, second down and seven on a three-yard pickup. Up to the line of scrimmage come the Trojans. Unbalanced over to the right up front. Send a wide flanker out to the right on the single wing. Bukic in the tailback, hands the ball over to Carmichael, the short reverse behind the line of scrimmage. The same play that they worked before for three yards. Bucked over to the 40-yard line as he cracks off his own left tackle on the weak side. Right up to the 40, falls forward as he tackles the 41 with John Dixon, the middle linebacker from Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin, making the stop for the Badgers. The tackle for Wisconsin, and it's third down and five. Rudy Bukic back to pass. Pegs it complete to Tom Nikoloff for 16 yards and a first down. Trojans ball, first and 10 on the Wisconsin 43-yard line. Bukic fakes the pass, cuts inside left end. Picks up only three yards as Roger Dornberg was there in a hurry for the Badgers. And it's second down and seven now for Southern California on Wisconsin's 40-yard line. Rudy Bukic with the ball. Pegs one out there intended for Ron Miller. Too high. Out of bounds incomplete. Third down, seven yards to go for the Trojans on the Badger 40. Jukic with the ball. Jerry Warman is in there and trips him up for a 10-yard loss. Makes it fourth down and 17 yards to go for Southern California, and they're on the 50-yard line. Des Cook in front formation. Ball bounds into the end zone for the touchback. Ron T in the backfield, wing out to the right. The ball is given off to Amici on the handoff from Haluska, and the big fellow tries the right side of the line, hits the 20-yard line, spins as he gets away from one man, but Bill Haddig comes in along with George Timberlake to make the tackle right on the 21-yard line. So it's actually a pickup of one yard. So far this afternoon, the Trojan defense has been able to halt the onrushes of Alan Amici, the big fullback from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Second time coming up at approximately eight and a half yards. Blacker out to the left is Gerald DeWitt. The ball is handed off to the halfback, Bill Hutchinson, who streaks through behind Amici and hits the right side of the line, goes nowhere. Bob Tibiani, I believe his young fellow made the stop down there. Have a wish to do a little running to see how strong the Trojan defenses might be. 
Now with Hutch Burkson there for Hutchinson. It is he being sent on the flank in the T formation in the backfield. Haluska behind the balance line takes his ball, fades off to the right. He's going to throw this time. He does. And tosses to Burke on the 25. He's under the 30. To the 35. To the 40. To the 45. And hit and knocks out of bounds on the 50 yard line on this side of the field. Young Burke, Archie Burke, taking a very fine pass from Haluska and steps his way to the 50 yard line as Wisconsin picks up a first down right on the 50. We have uh, an injury for Wisconsin, uh, for the Trojans this time. It looks as though it is Landon Exley, the Santa Monica sophomore, playing defensive right half. He's still calling the signals for Wisconsin. Upside under center, takes the ball, fakes one hand off, and on the stutter play, gives the ball to his left halfback, or rather his right halfback, Gerald Witt. Witt through the left side of the line, drives up to the 46-yard line of the Trojans, where he's stopped by Riddle. Bill Riddle from El Centro, California, backing up the right side of the Trojan line. Now in place of George Timberlake. The ball on the 46-yard line. 15 yards into the sideline on the side of the field. Goes to the flank on the tight T. Rather on the loose T in the backfield. Ball taken by Haluska with the end split wide. He fakes back. And fakes as if to keep the ball, but it is given over to Michi, the fullback. And he pounds, drives, fights his way through the right side of the line. Hits up to the 41-yard line, where he stopped at the 41 and bounced back to about the 42. He was hit hard that time by Riddle. The right linebacker. So the ball is resting on the 42-yard line in of a scoreless ball game between the Trojans and the Badgers. Flank T to the right for Wisconsin. Haluska again taking the ball, fading off to the right. He's being chased, and they climb on his back as he hands the ball off to Burkson. Comes around the left side, and Burkson moves to the 30, hit on the 30, spins over to the 20, and is finally knocked out of bounds as he bounces back on the 21. He was hit hard by Frank Clayton and Jim Sears. You can almost say that was a variation of the old Statue of Liberty play. Everyone climbed on Haluska's back, figuring he still had the ball. He flipped it sort of in a backhand motion to his halfback, Burks, coming around. And Burks straight all the way to the Trojan 20, call it two-yard line. On the 22. Where his shirt with the cardinal pants? The Badgers of Wisconsin on the Southern Cal 22-yard line. Flanker to the right in the tee, behind the balance line. Haluska takes the ball, pitches back to Amici. It's a wide sweep around the right side. Amici on the move, is hit at the 20-yard line, and is locked out of bounds on the 17 as he staggers three more yards after having been hit by Harry Welsh of Akron, Ohio. Harry Welsh playing defensive halfback in place of Harry Sultis, who was ruled ineligible here at Southern California. Harry Welsh playing the defensive low post, hit the big fella, and finally knocked him out of bounds on the 17-yard line. So the second down and five as Amici picked up five on the play. Wisconsin down in Southern California territory on the 17, 15 yards in the sideline across the way. Sending a flanker to the left, Wisconsin. That is Gerald Witt on the flank. Aliska calls his signals out, takes the ball, and on the center play, hands off to Burks, who drives the right side of the line, drives down to the 15, and picks up another yard after he's smashed at the 15-yard line and drops on the 14, hit by Harry Welsh. This Welsh weighs 168 pounds, and you should have seen him going after this big Alan Amici, 205 pounds a few moments ago. He really put his head down and... Board right in. The ball is resting on the third and three on the Trojan 14-yard line. Black T to the left for the Trojans. Again, Haluska waits for that pass and center, takes it and pitches back. The ball is fumbled by Amici and is dropped back on the 18-yard line. A fumble picked up by Amici and he stopped on the 18-yard line for a loss of about four. It was Bob Hooks coming in very fast with Elmer Wilhoit, the left guard. Bob Hooks, the Los Angeles senior, playing defensive right end for the Trojans. And Elmer Wilhoit from Winton, California. He's a senior guard at 217 pounds. Now, let's see, coming in for Wisconsin to pass that ball. Ready for the signals to be called. They are called. The ball is not placed and kicked. And it is no good. It is down on the five-yard line for the Trojans. Picked up by Burns, and he comes back to about the seven-yard line as the gun ends to sound for the first period of this ball game. So the first quarter is all over, and just a moment, our red flag down on the field. It looks as though we're going to have an offside penalty to be charged against the Trojans. And if so, we may have this play before the second quarter. Witt and Burks have come back. There's a flanker to the right on fourth and seven. Aliska takes the ball, pitches over to Amici, and Amici following Gerald Witt. Drives down to about the 14-yard line, 13-yard line, and is hit and dropped by Harry Wells. So the Trojans hold. And the first period, ladies and gentlemen, is all over, and it's corner. I'd like to talk to some men for just a moment here. How you fix for blades, men? Now as the ball clubs change side, Wisconsin now defending the goal to our left, which is the northern goal, and Southern California, the goal to our right, the southern goal. It's Southern Cal's ball, first and ten, 
on their own 14-yard line. 15 yards in the sideline on this side of the field. From the tailback position, it is Dutch trying off the right side, trying to slide between right tackle and right end. Moves up to the 14-yard line or the line of scrimmage where Jerry Werman makes the stop for Wisconsin. This Milwaukee, Wisconsin senior played a pretty good ball game this afternoon so far defensively. He's made a couple of knifing tackles, sifting through the Trojan blockers to make the stop. The Trojans on second down and still 10. Have Duke fading back to throw a forward pass. He does, and Don Stillwell, the left end from San Francisco, has the ball off the end of his fingertips on the 20-yard line with George O'Brien backing up the right side of the Wisconsin line over there to help him break up the, help break up the play. It'll be third down and 10 yards to go now for the Trojans on their own 14-yard line. Desking in for Sellers. That means that Desk Cook will do the kicking as it is third and 10, and the Trojans aren't going to take much of a chance on their own 14-yard line. The ball comes back, however, to Buki. And Buki is cut way back on his own five-yard line. He's going to do passing from a short kick formation. And was unable to get the pass away. Donald Voss coming in fast to make the stop for Wisconsin. Pushing back to the five-yard line. So it is fourth now, fourth down. At about 19 to 20 yards to go for the Trojans, back on their own five-yard line. California. They are being sent your way over this NBC network. Des Cook, standing deep in his own end zone, almost out of the playing field, takes a pass from center about chest high, has time, kicks the ball nicely away to Beauty, coming downfield to the 40-yard line, where it's taken by Burke. Burke coming back after a fake to the 45-yard line and is hit the slow under on his own 49-yard line. Harold Hahn, the Hahn Luna Jr., making the stop for the University of Southern California. The ball is just about equidistant between sidelines on the Wisconsin 49-yard line, where it'll be Wisconsin's ball first and ten. The Badgers have Jimmy Haluska at quarterback, Burks at left halfback, at right halfback Gerald Witt, the full tackles, Burke, and Fritzlick, Steinmetz and Stensby, the guards, and Simkowski is the center. Flacker to the right on the tee with Haluska taking the ball and feeding it off to his halfback Burks, who follows one-man interference down to the 50-yard line, Hit it to 50 and picks up about another yard as Marv Goo, the defensive linebacker for the Trojans, comes in, rolls under to make the stop. The ball is on the Southern California 49-yard line for a pickup of two yards, makes it second and eight for which side of the field. Second period of the ball game, no score. Flanker to the left on the tee with Haluska pitching out to his fullback Amici. Around the right side goes Amici to the line of scrimmage and steps out of bounds on about the 48 after a yard pickup. Charlie Anne, the big left tackle from Honolulu, pushed Amici out of bounds. After a yard pickup makes it third and approximately seven. Huddle moving up to the line of scrimmage, operating the T formation. They keep their backfield in tight as the end split wide. Then the left end, Peters crawls in a yard or two. Ball is taken by Haluska and on a delayed line buck, it is Amici driving through the middle of the line with a red flag going down on the field. Amici winds up on the 43 yard line, but a red flag has gone down on the field. Let's see whether it's going to be Southern California or Wisconsin to draw the penalty. Apparently it's going to be Southern California. George Timberlake made the stop that time of Michi, which is all we're going to get. Gerald Witt is the flanker, 184-pound halfback. Haluska tight under center, ready to take that ball from the center. He does, takes off, and then finally hands the ball to uh, Michi, who tries the left side of the line and gets over the 35, then over the line of scrimmage to 34 and picks up just one yard as Bob Van Doren, right tackling defensive co-captain for the Southern California Trojans, makes the stop. Flanker to the right for Wisconsin on second and nine. Haluska again takes the ball, fades back. It's going to be the second forward pass, and it's intercepted. It's intercepted on the 25-yard line by the left halfback, Harry Welsh. He comes right back to the 30-yard line. It's hit at the 30-yard line and bumps back a yard before he's finally down on his own 29-yard line. Gerald Witt finally made the stop. That ball was intended for Andrew Kowski. And it was intercepted by Harry Welsh, the Akron, Ohio boy, the senior left halfback for the University of Southern California. Oh, there's the first interception this afternoon, and the tide has turned right now with the trailing behind an unbalanced line. In the tailback position is Bukic. He takes the ball, fades off to the right, looking for someone to pass through. Bing rests decides to keep the ball, runs it back to the 30, hit at the 30 on the far side line, and dropped out of bounds on the 31. B-U-K-I-C-H, Bukic, from St. Louis, Missouri. Dixon, the middle linebacker. That's John Dixon from Wisconsin Dells, Wisconsin. Made the stop finally, pushing Bukic out of bounds on the 31-yard line. And Wisconsin. There's a hike to the left for Southern Cal, and Carmichael takes a handoff. As reverse is the play behind the line of scrimmage. Carmichael going into the right side of the line with one-man interference. is hit by Zeminski and Roger Dornberg. 
Drive about two yard gain on that play. And that was a single wing. The tailback is Bukic. Up back full is Leon Sellers. Bukic takes the ball, fades back, throws the pass. It's completed down on the 44 yard line to Nikolov. And as soon as he catches the ball, he steps out of bounds. Don Nikolov stepping out of bounds on his own 44 yard line to give the Trojans the first down and 10 yards to go. Don Nikolov, the Los Angeles senior. Big fellow, 218 pounds. For Southern Cal on their own 44-yard line. Cracked over to the right to single wing near the sideline across the way. Bukic takes the ball, fakes that pass, and puts his head down and rams right into the middle of the line. Hits from the 45-yard line up to about the 47-yard line before he's finally stopped. Stopped that time by Kennedy and by Dixon. Bob Kennedy from Rhinelander, Wisconsin, playing the middle guard position for Wisconsin. Hike to the right to single wing. Bukic. Playing in the tailback spot, fades back, throws that pass across the line of scrimmage, a lazy pass, taken by Miller at the 45-yard line, Wisconsin Territory, and he's hit by Burks there, and finally gets out of bounds on the 41-yard line. I said, Burks, make that swaco. Make that swaco. Finally hit him. On the Wisconsin 41-yard line. It'll be first in the forward wall. Hike to the right in a single wing behind an unbalanced line with Bukic in the tailback. Bukic fades off to the right and cracks back over his own right tackle. Hits to the 40-yard line and stops at the 40 for a yard pickup. Dixon, along with Donald Voss, making the stop. Voss came in close to make the pinch, and Dixon was the boy who hit high just about uh, the waist. The ball is on the 40-yard line for pickup to the single wing. Bukic in the tailback. He takes the ball, steps back one, two, three steps, throws the spot pass across the line of scrimmage. Complete the Don Stillwell on the 35-yard line. Stillwell fights his way for two more as he moves down to the 33. Nixon again in on the play. John Dixon. Boy, Dixon's playing a good uh, middle linebacker job here on defense for Wisconsin. The ball on the 33-yard line makes it uh, third down. Bukic in the tailback. Southern Cal jumps off as the uh, red flag goes down the field. That's going to cost them five yards. Their left guard, Ed Pucci, jumped the gun. California's ball running from a single wing to the right. Makes it third and seven. Bukic takes that ball, fades off to the right, then looks for someone to pass to, and does hit still on the 30-yard line. He steps to the 25. It's hit, knocked out of bounds on the 22-yard line by Swaco. That pass from Bukic to Don Stilwell has been operating well for Southern California, and they pick up the third first down in a row. The ball resting down on the Wisconsin 20. Running out of the single wing to the right. With Bukic in the tailback, Sellers the up-back full playing close. The ball coming back again to Bukic. He fades back, gets the pass away, and it is intercepted by Wisconsin. Intercepted, I believe, by Ronald Lachlan. Intercepted by Ronald Lachlan. Right on the 13-yard line, and he's hit and dropped immediately by the potential receiver, Al Carmichael. So there's a break that will help Wisconsin tremendously as the Trojans were on the march. First down and 10 yards to go for the Badgers on their own 13-yard line. The ball equal distance between sidelines. Coming in with at fullback, Alan Amici. With the ends split wide and a flanker to the left. The T in the backfield with Halusa operating. Pitches the ball back as Amici takes it and takes off to the right and cuts back over his own left tackle. Drives up to the 15-yard line and hit after the two-yard pickup by Bob Van Doren and Bob Hooks. Makes it second down. Coming up for uh, Wisconsin, about eight yards to go. Second and eight. Way out wide to the right. The ends are held in just about a yard split wide. On a stutter play, the ball given to the right halfback, Gerald Whitty, through the left side of the line, steps his way to the 20, and moves over to about the 22-yard line before he's hit and finally dropped by Bob Piviani, the left guard who trailed the play over and caught his man sort of catacomb. Aluska taking the ball, pitches back to his fullback, Amici. Off the right side goes Amici as Marv Goo comes in and hits him at the line of scrimmage, but Amici, I believe, has picked up enough to make it a first down for Wisconsin on approximately their 24-yard line. The officials are taking an official timeout to measure to make sure that it is or is not a first down. Let's see what the uh, final decision is. This chain is being stretched now. Anuska behind the center takes the ball and feeds it off to his fullback and a fake and then hands it over to DeWitt coming around and DeWitt through the right side out on the 40 yard line hit from behind on his own 45 as he streaks into the clear and trying to run the sidelines is knocked out of bounds on his own 47 yard line. Lyndon Crow making the stop. He's a Corcoran, California sophomore, playing defensive halfback for Southern California. It's another Wisconsin first down. Ball resting on the 47-yard line in Wisconsin territory. Wisconsin's ball, first down and 10 yards to go. A very nice fake handoff to Amici. The Witt coming around, and Jerry made it the first down on the 47. 
This time the handoff goes to the fullback. To the left side of the line he goes, and up to the 50. Struggles and fights his way for what looks like two more yards, over to the 48-yard line. The official places on the 49 in Southern Cal territory. Makes it second down and six. Again, co-captain Van Doren. Ends come in a step or two now. They're split wide about a yard. Anushka takes the ball and pitches off to Burks, who comes around the left side, steps his way through two men. Finally, sit on the far sideline and down on the 46-yard line in Southern California territory. George Timberlake from Long Beach, California, making the stop for Southern California. The ball on the 46-yard line, 15 yards in the sideline across the way. Third down, back Burks. Anushka waiting for the ball to be snapped. He takes it, and on the stutter play, hands it off finally to... His halfback Witt coming around. Witt at the line of scrimmage. is hit and dropped at the line of scrimmage on the far side, but the entire right side of the Southern California line. Van Doren again in on the play, helped by Hooks and Wilhoyt. Standing back on the 38-yard line. Carmichael is back in safety. The ball is kicked, and it is out of bounds on the far side of the field. Let's see where the official is going to place that one. That'll be on the 25-yard line. And while uh, they line up now, the first and ten for the Trojans on their own 25-yard line. Let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. And still this game battles along in a scoreless tie. Leon Sellers carrying the ball into the middle of the line. No gain. Bob Kennedy there. Second down and 10, still on the 21. Sellers again up the middle. Goes four yards this time. Kennedy again brought him down, but a little later this trip. Four minutes to play in the first half of the scoreless ball game between Wisconsin and Southern California. Wide flanker to the right. With Bukic in the tailback, fading back to his own 10. Throws the pass across the line of scrimmage, and it is incomplete. Incomplete, intended for Al Carmichael. Goes incomplete. That was a slick play if it had worked. But same men for the slickest, most refreshing shaves of your life. Prepare your beard with Gillette shaving cream, lather, or brushless, and skim it off with a Gillette blue blade in your Gillette razor. Fourth down and six for the Trojans. Five-yard line. Burks and Swaco go into double safety for Wisconsin. Back on the Wisconsin 30. And coming in to kick is Des Cook, the Shelton Washington boy. Standing on the Trojan 10-yard line. Hands outstretched, kneeling forward, leaning forward, waiting for the ball to be snapped. It's snapped. He gets a nice boot away. It's a dandy. Coming downfield. This kid can kick down to the 20-yard line. Burks picks up on the 20. Back to the 25. To the 30. Still on his feet. And finally hit and knocked down on the 35. Ed Pucci making the stop for Southern California. Ball on the 30-yard line. Just nose over the 30. First down and 10 yards to go. First and 10 for Wisconsin. Four minutes and five seconds remaining as the officials are warning both teams. Four minutes and five seconds left to play in the first half of the ball game, which is scoreless. Burks goes to the flank to the right, moving over right down below our NBC microphones. Hand off in the backfield to Alan Meachie, the big fullback. Bowls his way through the left side of the line, over to the 40-yard line, hit at the 40, spins away from two men, and pushes his way over Bob Bibiani, who finally makes the stop, to the 42-yard line. That'll be the second down coming up. Got about uh, three yards to go. Flank back to the right for Wisconsin on the team. Haluska, still the quarterback for Wisconsin, calls his signals. Grabs that ball and hands off to his right halfback, Gerald Witt, who punches through the right side of the line over the 45 and hits down to about the 46. Charles Anne, Charlie Anne, 254-pound left tackle from Honolulu. Making the stop for Southern California. It's enough for first down on the Badgers. Flank T to the right for Wisconsin. Aluska takes the ball, fades off to the right, gets pretty good protection. Fades on back to his own 35-yard line, throws the pass across the line, scrimmage intended for Burks at the 50, and he can't keep his hands on it. It slides through his fingertips. Marv Gu was right behind him, the defensive linebacker of Southern California. Had he made the catch, Gu was right on him to make the tackle. The ball dropped through Burks' fingers. Incomplete, second and ten for Wisconsin. Ball walked right back to their 46-yard line. A very fine, clean ball game and a hard-fought ball game here this afternoon. Flanker to the right is Burks for Wisconsin on the balance line at T formation. Ball given to Witt on the stutter play. Witt through the middle of the line, drags his way up, and I mean literally drags his way up to the midfield stripe, goes over the midfield stripe and hits down to the 46-yard line before he's stopped by Bob Piviani, the left guard of Southern California, on the 46-yard line. 
Ball's being placed down about 20 yards in the sideline across the way. Makes it third down coming up and just about two yards to go. Slightly more than two. The closer I expect. Once more, Heluska sends his flanker Burks to the right on the tee. Behind the balance line, Haluska takes the ball, turns around, pitches back to Amici. Following one man interference, Amici makes the line of scrimmage. It's hit at the line of scrimmage and dropped. Bob Bill Hattig making the stop. Bill Hattig, 164 pounds. That ball is in on a lot of plays. He can really go. It's fourth and two now for Wisconsin. On their own, or on the uh, Southern Cal. Hermes Dundor is in double safety with Al Carmichael. For Southern California, standing back on the Southern Cal 10. Dulcet from his own 39-yard line. Boots the ball very close. It was almost blocked by Pucci. Ball comes down and drops out of bounds on about the 18-yard line on this side of the field. So we're going to have the ball put in play on the 18. Southern Cal's ball. First and 10 on their own 18. The same men. To enjoy the most refreshing shaves ever, plus convenience and economy worth talking about, get acquainted with the one-piece Gillette Super Speed Razor. See what we have down there at quarterback. We have uh, Bozanic. Zanik at quarter, Bukic at left halfback, Sellers at full, and Yael Carmichael. There is Bukic fading back to the right, throws a forward pass downfield, and it's almost intercepted by John Dixon. It was intended for Al Carmichael. Very close to an interception. Got about a minute left to play here in the first half of the ball game. It's scoreless. Substitution coming in now for Southern California. Single wing over to the right with Dando in the tailback. Dandoy's from Torrance, California. Young fellow takes the ball, fades back to his own five-yard line, back to his own three. Keeps the ball, is going to run it. Comes right down the middle of the field and drives back to the 15 where he stopped as he stumbles. Don Voss covering him on the stumble. Don Voss, defensive right end, along with George O'Brien, the captain. Looks as though O'Brien has been injured. Is that Don Voss down there, Ed? It's been injured. Don Voss, yeah. Don Voss. Apparently, uh, was coming in for Don Voss is Wimmer. Hugo Wimmer at end for... Donald Voss, who was shaking up on the play, he's going to be all right. Single wing over to the right with Dando in the tail for Southern California. Takes the ball, throws the pass way out into the flat on the 40. It's completed on the 40-yard line to Leon Sellers, and Sellers steps out of bounds on the 44. Thornburg was riding his back as he went out of bounds on the 44-yard line. Ball is being walked in, 15 yards into the sideline across the way to make it second down and just about one yard to go for Southern Cal on their own 40. Single wing over to the right, cracked toward the sidelines. In the tailback, Dandoy up back is Sellers, the fullback. Dandoy fades back, throws the pass down the right side, and at the 48-yard line, Tom Nikoloff leaps high in the air, completes the pass, and steps out of bounds on the Wisconsin 47. Ronald Luckman was the fellow who pushed him out of bounds on the Wisconsin 40, call it 7-yard line. First down and 10-yard and Rudy Bukic. Bukic comes in. Well, there's a rough one for me to say. Bukic, B-U-C-K. B-U-K-I-C-H, Bukic. Hike over to the right in the single wing with Bukic in the tailback. He takes the ball, fades back to his own 40, looks the field over, throws a long pass downfield. It is intercepted by Swico on the 20. He's back to the 30, to the 35. And letters the ball to a teammate on the 45-yard line. That's Burton Hubley who takes the lateral and is knocked out of bounds, finally, down about the 50-yard line. Ed Bush finally making the stop for Southern California. The ball is placed on the 46-yard line. Everyone had jumped up down there to see where that ball was being run. And a clipping penalty apparently is being charged against Wisconsin as a red flag has gone down on the field. And we'll know in a moment whether or not Southern California is going to keep that ball or not. It looks as though Southern Cal gets a break and will keep the ball. Down at the 21-yard line, a red flag went down on the field. As the headlines came in and dropped it. And we thought the penalty was uh, going to nullify that last play, but instead, the interception goes all right. There is Wisconsin with Haluska on the quarterback sneak, moving into the middle of the line to eat up the time. The officials, the ball on the six-yard line to Wisconsin. Haluska into the center of the line. So there's the public address announcer announcing it to the thousands here, just as we gave it to you. The penalty was called after the interception had been made. So it meant that Wisconsin held right onto the ball down on their own six-yard line after the penalty had been stepped off against them. So it did not change hands of the ball. Wisconsin holding as they come up to the line of scrimmage. The gun goes off to end the first half of the ball game, which stands nothing to nothing between Wisconsin and Southern California. We've seen a whale of a game here in the first half. Raven Dyer will be talking about it in just a moment. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've had a scoreless first half between Wisconsin and Southern California. And I said a few minutes ago that 
Braven Dyer was uh, making that pencil go like chicken scratching over there, and I know he has a lot of comments to make about the first half of the ball game. So, Braven, while uh, I grab a cup of coffee, it's your microphone. Thank you, Al Helfer. Yes, it is a tight, hard football game. The score, nothing to nothing. And the first down, 7-6 to six in favor of Southern California, which shows you how tight that is. And I don't have the full yardage figures available at this time, but I think you'll find that the two teams are very close in the amount of yardage gained. Wisconsin has been a little stronger on the ground. The Trojans are stronger through the air. So we'll have to go into the second half to get a score out of this football game. You know, we had a wonderful Tournament of Roses parade out here this morning. As I drove over from Los Angeles, coming to the game, uh, I saw thousands, literally hundreds of thousands of people walking along the streets away from the Rose Tournament Parade, which had just been concluded. They tell me that one million and a half persons from the 48 states of the Union and from foreign lands witnessed the most colorful, moving, breathtakingly beautiful spectacle ever to express the spirit of free man through exquisite flower design and inspiring themes. The famous Pasadena Tournament of Roses Parade and its equally renowned classic, the Rose Bowl game. All this New Year's morning, the bright dawn of 1953 has been traditionally saluted by a procession of brilliantly wrought and wondrously flower-decorated floats, giving living significance to this year's Tournament of Roses theme, Melodies and Flowers. None can witness the Rose Parade without realizing the tremendous unselfish hard work and creative effort that goes into making of the whole tremendous scope of beauty and sport which the Tournament of Roses represents. You get the feeling that the Tournament of Roses is truly of, by, and for the people. The big game between Wisconsin and Southern California is only one half of the wonderful program. And the roar from the huge crowd of 1,000 persons in Sweden, I know you have a word. Al, uh, the statistics for the first half have arrived, and they bear out uh, what uh, Ray Elliott said and what I said. The net yardage gained from running plays by Wisconsin, 99 yards. The net yardage gained by the Trojans from running plays is a loss, minus 16. They lost a lot of yardage on the uh, pass plays when the man decided not to pass. Lost 43 yards, gaining 27, a net loss is 16. Through the air, however, the Trojans gained 100 yards. So the total net yardage running and passing for the two teams favors Wisconsin, 127 to 84. Now back to Al Helfer. We are checking the starting lineups for the second half of the scoreless ball game here to Thursday night playing the Rose Bowl game at Pasadena, California, being sent to you by Gillette over this NBC network. And for Wisconsin, the starting lineup for Wisconsin will be the same as finished the ball game in the first half. So it means that we'll have Peters, Kritschlik, Steinmetz, Simkowski, Stenfi, Brent, and Rakowski in the forward wall. We'll have Burks at left halfback. Haluska will be at quarterback. Jerry Witt will be at right halfback. And Don, or rather, Alan Michi will be at fullback. For Southern California, we'll have Stillwell at left hand, apparently, in place of Ron Miller. We'll have Thompson at left tackle, Will Hoyt at left guard, Welsh at center, he's the co-captain, Bibiani at right guard, Weeks at right tackle, and Nikolov at right end. We may have Bob Cox of Pasadena in there at right guard. We'll see that and know that in a moment as Des Cook, Des Cook comes out to kick off for Southern California, who will defend the goal to our right, the Southern goal, kicking off to Wisconsin. We have Gerald Witt and Archie Burke deep back on the goal line in receiving position. In the backfield for Southern California, we'll have Bozanic at quarterback. We'll have Bukic at left halfback. And at right halfback, Al Carmichael. And at fullback, yes, that's Leon Seller. We're ready for the kickoff. Sellers will be in the ball game just as soon as Cook kicks off for Southern California. That's the smallest ball game as we move into the second half of the affair here at Pasadena with the lights having been turned on to ensure a brilliant second half as far as visibility is concerned. Mr. Springer, the referee, is blown his whistle. Cook moves forward, boots that ball deep into Wisconsin territory, and it is being taken down on the Wisconsin six-yard line by Gerald Whitty comes. Brings it back just seven yards before Chuck Weeks and Frank Pavage brought him down on the 13-yard line where it'll be first and ten for the Badgers. No score in the game as we start the second half of play. Jim Haluska pitches out to Alan Amici. Amici is good for a run of 54 yards. It's a first down for the Badgers. 
First and ten on the Southern California 33 yard line. Haluska, a quick pass complete to Orban Drakowski. It's good for a gain of nine yards. Second down and one. Badgers have the ball now on the Trojans 24 yard line. Pitch out goes to Jerry Witt. Wide to the right. He needs one, makes two for a first down. Harry Welch coming up to make the tackle. First and ten for Wisconsin on Southern California's 22 yard line. Alan Amici with the ball, cracking off left tackle. Makes only one yard. Makes it second down and nine yards to go now on the Trojans, 21 for Wisconsin. Aluska passing, incomplete, aim for Vandrakowski. Third down, nine yards to go, still on the 21-yard line. Burks with the ball, is hit hard as he tries left end, fumbles, and it's recovered by Southern California. Bob Hooks getting on that loose football, and the Trojans take over first and 10 on their own 27-yard line. Fullback Leon Sellers with the ball. Runs into trouble on the right side of the line. Gains one yard. Second down and nine now. On their own 28. Rudy Bukic back to pass. Sights his end. Ron Miller. Miller catches the ball. Complete. Goes for nine yards and a first down for Southern California. First and ten now on their own 38 for the Trojans. Zanik with the ball this time. He piles inside right tackle for a five yard gain. Second down and five now for Southern Cal. Ball on their own 43. Rudy Bukic takes to the air again. Pegs one complete to Tom Nikoloff. And it's an 11 yard gain and a first down. First and 10 for Southern California on the Wisconsin 46 yard line. Leon Sellers on the spinner. Piles into the middle of the line, makes only a yard. Second down and nine now on the Badger 45. Bukic back to throw. Arches one for Ron Miller. And it is too far, incomplete. Makes it third down and nine. Southern California now on the Wisconsin 45 yard line. Bukic drops back to pass. Again, his target is Ron Miller. This time it's complete and a spectacular catch. Good for 14 yards and a first down for Southern California. That'll put Southern Cal in Wisconsin's 31-yard line. First down and 10 yards to go. Rudy Bukic with the ball again. A quick pass over the line. Complete to Ron Miller. Good for nine yards. John Dixon, the first to hit him. Second down and one now for Southern Cal on Wisconsin's 22-yard line. Bukic in the tailback spot. Bukic back to throw. Al Carmichael, the target in the end zone. Complete for the touchdown. Now on the try for point, Harry Welch holds, Sam Takalakis kicks, and it's good. And the score is 7 to nothing in favor of Southern California over Wisconsin. There's Cook kicking off for the Trojans. Jerry Witt takes the ball on the 11. Slips and falls. Brought it out to the 14-yard line where it'll be first and 10 for the Badgers on their own 14. Alan Amici with that ball, trying the right side of the line. Banged to the ground by Bob Van Dorn after a one-yard gain to make it second down and nine on their own 15-yard line. Pitch out goes back to Jerry Witt. Wide to the right comes Witt. Three-yard gain on the play, but Southern California was penalized for roughness. Wisconsin now has it second and two on their own 22. 
A loose gun, a quick forward pass. Almost intercepted by Lyndon Crow. It's incomplete. Kent Peters was the target. Third down, two yards to go. Amici with that ball, cutting inside right end. Goes for eight yards and a first down. We have six minutes and about 50 seconds left to play in the third period. Tight tee in the backfield for Wisconsin on this move. Aluska takes the ball, face back, goes the pass downfield. It's completed to Peters. Peters at the 40-yard line. It's hit at the 40-yard line, pushed back to about the 39-yard line. Aluska to Peters. Peters, the receiver, down on his own 38-yard line. Officials come in immediately. And let's see, that's not going to be enough for a first down for Wisconsin. Aluska Peters. By the wide flanker moving to the left is Gerald Witt. Behind the balance line with the end split out of yard. Haluska takes the ball and fades off to the left, getting protection from Amici. Throws downfield, and there's a completed forward pass to the 50. It is Gerald DeWitt. Picked that ball off the 50-yard line, picked up two more as he stepped over to the 48-yard line. In the territory of Southern California, he's tackled by Harry Welch, the defensive halfback. It's Wisconsin's ball on the 48-yard line in Trojan territory. First down and 10 yards to go. And the Badger cheering section sets up the howl of go, go, go. First down, 10 yards to go for the Badgers on the Southern California 48-yard line. Tight tee in the backfield. Haluska takes the ball, fades back, throws a little screen pass on the front on the left side. It's completed. The receiver down to the 40, down to the 35-yard line. That's Gerald Witt. And is hit at the 35-yard line in Southern Cal territory and dumped. But a red flag has gone down on the field, and it looks as though we're going to have a penalty to be charged against Southern California for illegal use of hands. We're six and a half point favor. Flank T for Wisconsin. The flank is to the left. The balance line as usual with the end for the yard. Haluska pitching back to Big Amici, the fullback, who tries the left side of the line, is hit over on the 30, and knocked out of bounds on the 30-yard line by Lyndon Crow of Corcoran, California, playing defensive right halfback for Southern Cal. Ball moved up to the 30-yard line, or down to the 30-yard line, depending upon which way you look at it. If you're looking at it from the Wisconsin side of the fence, they moved to being 10 yards. Burks on the flank for Wisconsin on the tee formation. Haluska takes the ball, fades back 10 yards, throws the pass. That is incomplete to Gerald Witt. Scoots right out of his cooked arms, down on the 30-yard line. The motion was going to the right, fading off to the right. The pass was made in that direction. That'll make a third down. Let's call it 10 yards. Two to three yards on this play. Haluska takes the ball, turns around, pitches back to Amici. Two-man interference. Amici drives the ball down to the 25-yard line. Bob Piviani, the left guard, rolling under to make the stop for Southern Cal. Sort of slid over. And just uh, rolled under the play on the 25-yard line to stop Amici. He had to take interference and all, and he did it. It went way out to the left. The ends are split wide. Wouldn't surprise at all to see a pass play on this one. Haluska takes the ball and fades back. That's what it's going to be. Throws a little screen pass. It's completed on the 30 to Andrukowski. Andrukowski down to the 10 and out of bounds on the 11-yard line. He stepped back to avoid attacker and stepped out on the 11. Frank Clayton was the fellow who bottled him up on the 10. So it is first down. 10 yards to go for Wisconsin on the Southern Cal 11-yard line. On the 11, 15 yards in the sideline on this side of the field. Now let's see what the operation is down on the field. A flanker to the left. Haluska is ready to take the ball tight under center. He does. Fades off to the left, getting protection from Amici. Throws a pass downfield to Burke, and it's incomplete at the goal line, just over Burke's fingertips. Burke tried to grab that ball before having stepped out of bounds, but Lyndon Crow was there also. Burke wasn't able to get his hand on the ball. That's Archie Burke from Louisville, Kentucky, a senior at 165 pounds. He has taken the place of Bill in California 11-yard line. Blank T is off to the left. Aluska waiting for the ball. Pitches back to Amici, the big fella, with one man in the first. Backs off the right side. Drives down to the 10-yard line. Struggles and fights his way to about the 8. And that's all. Down he goes on the 8-yard line. Rolling onto the play that time. Well, as a young fella right now is being shaken up at Timberlake. Ball is resting on the second seven yard line. Third and six for Wisconsin on the Southern Cal seven. Using almost an eight man line of defense now, Southern Cal as the tee is off to the left. Aluska taking the ball, fading off, goes into the end zone, incomplete. As he goes out of bounds, just about the goal line. Andrukowski, Irvin Andrukowski, the right end, was down there to try to receive that ball, but it was 
about uh, two feet over his head, and he couldn't make it. It'll be fourth down coming up for Wisconsin. Fourth down is there. Paul Swaco is going to try for a field goal. And he'll kick the ball from the 14-yard line. Waiting for the ball to be snapped back. It's going to be Gerald Witt to hold that ball. Jerry Witt. And he does not kick the ball. Jerry Witt takes the pass and center. Runs off the right side to the five. And to the four. And he is left out of bounds on the five-yard line. And there's a clipping penalty. There is a clipping penalty down on the field. Who draws that clipping penalty? We'll know in a moment. It could be Wisconsin or it could be Southern California. The ball is out of bounds on the four. Of course, that will not be a first down for Wisconsin. But we'll know in a moment who draws the penalty. A clipping penalty is being charged apparently against Wisconsin. Apparently against Wisconsin. That'll go from the point of foul. And while we wait for them to line up down there, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the National Broadcasting Company. On Wisconsin, I hike over to the right to single wing for Southern California. Sellers, the fullback, takes the ball and bucks into the right side of the line. And he moves over about one yard up to the four. And we have a substitution now for Southern California. Harold Hahn is coming in. Lisky coming back in at left tackle for Wisconsin, replacing Mark Hay. There is Cook standing in front of his own goal post. The ball is snapped to him. He gets the boot away. It's a nice one coming downfield. This kid can kick. On the 40-yard line is Paul Swaco taking the ball and runs it back five more yards to the Southern Cal 35, where he's hit and dropped by Ron Miller and also Lou Welsh, the center and captain of Southern Cal. So it is Wisconsin's ball on the Southern Cal 35-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go, 15 yards in from the sideline on the side of the field. Two minutes and 50 seconds left to play in the third period. Southern Cal lead. He's the specialist here, kicking the extra point. Made it good, and it's 7-0 Southern Cal. Wide flank to the left on the tee for Wisconsin on first and 10 on the Trojan 35. Winding up with the ball is Burks, the left half back on the handoff. Bucks his way down to the 30-yard line, stepping off between right guard and right tackle with George Timberlake, the linebacker, making the stop for Southern California. That'll make it second down, coming up in five yards to gain. Second and five for Wisconsin on the 30-yard line in Southern California territory. Up they come, stepping to the line of scrimmage, splitting the ends wide, sending a flanker to the left. That is Gerald Witt, the flanker on the left. And Rakowski is back at right end now for Wisconsin. Haluska calling the signals out, takes the ball and fades off to the left, gets protection from Amici. There's a pass being thrown way downfield. Witt is not going to get this one. It's intercepted by Lyndon Crow right on the six-yard line. Was it intercepted before he stepped out? We'll know that in a moment. Apparently, it was intercepted before he stepped out of bounds on the far side line. And it's taken on the seven-yard line, meaning that the interception gives Southern California the ball on their own seven. First down and ten yards to go. Well, you men who are enjoying this broadcast this afternoon will get a heap of shaving satisfaction with the Gillette Super Speed Razor. It changes blades in a jiffy, rinses clean. First down, 10 yards to go for the Trojans on their own seven. Aramis Dandoy in at left halfback. He's in the tailback position right now. Takes the ball, fades off to the right, and cracks over his own right tackle, moving from the seven to about the nine for two yards, with John Dixon making the stop for Wisconsin. The ball moves up to the nine-yard line. Dornberg was also in on the play. Dornberg's the left linebacker. Ball on the nine-yard line for a pickup of two. It is Dandoy from Torrance, California, in the tailback, about five yards behind the line of scrimmage. They hike into a short kick formation. Dan Doy stays in the tailback. The ball is given to the fullback, Hahn. He's through the middle of the line. Bucks over the 10 up to about the 13. Hit and dropped at either the 13 or 14 by John Dixon and Dornberg. That ball is going to be on the 14-yard line, apparently. It's going to be that close to the 15. The ball is being 15 yards in from the sideline across the way. Makes it third down and approximately three yards to go for the University of Southern California. They lead 7 to nothing over Wisconsin. So about 40 seconds to play in the third period. There's a short kick formation once more. The hike out of the single wing into that short kick. And there's a spin and a give to the halfback. Carmichael coming off the wing. He's around the left side. Up to the 20-yard line. Hit at the 20, but shakes the tackler off and fights his way to his own 25-yard line where he goes out of bounds with John Dixon of Wisconsin hanging on. Al Carmichael of Inglewood, California in at right halfback. The boy who came off the wing that time with a short kick formation was a spin by the fullback on in the short bucket spot. He gave it over to the halfback coming off the left side. So it's the first down and 10 yards to go for Southern California on their own 25-yard line. 15 yards in from the sideline on his side of the field. Running out of the single wing to the right, as they usually do. It is Dando in the tailback. The ball comes back, however, to the fullback. Hahn, he pounds his way into the right side of the line, hitting the 25-yard strike, moves over to about the 27. Again, Dixon is in there to make the stop, along with O'Brien. 
Dornberg was also in on the play. The ball resting on the cover 28-yard line. That makes it second down and seven on the pickup of three yards. Scarlet shirted or Cardinal shirted Trojans come out of the line. And there is the end of the third period. And the score is Southern Cal 7 and Wisconsin up. Well, fans, enjoy the best-looking, most invigorating shave ever and save money to boot. Ask for Gillette's bonus special now. A ball game at Pasadena, California. And Norbert Esser from Madison, Wisconsin comes in to replace Lundeen at right end. For Wisconsin on the defense. Second down and seven yards to go for Southern Cal on their own 28-yard line as they've changed sides now. And Southern Cal defends the goal to our left, the goal to the north. Dandoy from a short kick formation in the tailback spot. Fades off to the right, throws the pass downfield. It's completed on the 38-yard line to George Bozanic, the quarterback who sneaked across the line, button hooked off to the right, took the ball, hit it to 38, and dropped to the 39. John Dixon making the stop for Wisconsin. Well, that's going to be enough for Southern Cal first down on their own 39-yard line. The ball equidistant between sidelines. Short kick formation with Dan Doy in the tailback and Hahn up close. Hahn taking the ball with a direct buck off the left side. He's through the left side of the line, up to the 50-yard line, cracking tackle. Hit and dropped on the Wisconsin 47-yard line. Burton Hubley and Paul Schwickel making the stop for Wisconsin as Southern Cal picks up another first down on the Wisconsin 47. Single wing over to the right. They break out of that on the second set of signals into a short kick formation. And from the tailback, it is Dendoy running the right side of the line, keeps the ball, and piles into the 42-yard line. Dornberg making the stop with Carl Martin. Carl Martin, the defensive right tackle. Second and about five. Second down and five yards to go. 42-yard line of Wisconsin. Where the upcoming down for Southern Cal is the second. They have five yards to gain. A hike to the right and a single wing. They break out as the end split wide into a short kick formation. Dan Doyle in the tailback. The ball to Hahn. They pull back in the bucking spot. Hits off the left side over the 40-yard line. Down to about the 38. Again, that's Dixon rolling under the middle linebacker. Number 67, Bob Kennedy, the middle guard, also in on the play. He rolled under along with the middle linebacker. And the official has asked for the chain to be rolled out to see whether or not it's going to be a first down for Southern Cal. On the, uh, the clock continues to run with 13 minutes and 10 seconds to play in the fourth period. Ball about 20 yards in the sideline on this side of the field. Single wing over to the right. Hans in the bucking spot. Hits the right side of the line and drives up to the 35. And that's going to be enough for a first down. Hit the stop by the left side of the Wisconsin forward wall. Zeminski, Werman, Kennedy moved over from his middle guard job to uh, be also in on the play. Number 67, Bob Kennedy was on the bottom of that pile. First down and 10 yards to go for the Trojans on the Wisconsin 35-yard line. Now we're set to go. There's the 5-3-3 three, three defense now. There's pitch out from the fullback to Dandoy running out of a short kick formation. Dandoy up to the 30, hit at the 30 on the line of scrimmage by Dixon and Swaco. Got it right back to the 30-yard line. So from the 35 to the 30 for just about a five-yard pickup. Makes it second and five for Southern Cal on the Wisconsin 30-yard line. But less now than 12 minutes to play in the fourth period. Southern Cal leading 7 to nothing. Single wing to the right. Out of it, the end split wide. They go into a short kick formation. Dan doing the tailback. Hahn handling the ball. Hands off to Carmichael coming around. The reverse has the one man interference. And Carmichael gets back to the line of scrimmage at the 30 on the far sideline and knocked out of bounds. Knocked out of bounds by Spiko. And number 62 was also in on that play. That's George O'Brien. George O'Brien was the final fellow to push him out of bounds. Back on the 31, actually. Makes it the third down coming up and about flanker out to the right on a single wing. They hop into a short kick formation. He stays out there. Dandoy in the tail, rather Birkic in the tailback now. Takes the ball and fades back. Throws the pass to El Carmichael down on the 30-yard line. It's completed. He stepped one yard and that's all. He's stopped by Archie Burke. Archie Burke's making the stop for Wisconsin. Helping him on the play was Jordan Burke. All right, on the 29-yard line, 15 yards in the sideline on this side of the field, and Southern Cal's ball, fourth and four, on the Wisconsin 29. Southern Cal out in front, seven to nothing. Been a bitterly contested ball game all the way. Single wing to the right, once more for Southern Cal, behind 
a balance line. The end split wide, and they hike into a short kick formation with Vukic in the tailback. Vukic takes the ball, fades back, throws right down the middle to the 20-yard line to Nikoloff. It's completed, and he's down immediately on the 20-yard line by Burton Hubley. Burton Hubley helped by John Dixon. First down, 10 yards to go for the Trojans on the Wisconsin 20-yard line. These Trojans have been moving here this afternoon by air. And Wisconsin is taking a little time out down there while Wisconsin takes time out. Let's get over to Braven Dyer. Braven, do you think the seven points is going to hold up, buddy? Well, you won't uh, begrudge me if I say I hope so. You know, after six long... My George, when you're understudying an All-American, you sit on the bench and bite your fingernails. Well, it's fingernail biting time again. First down, 10 yards to go for Southern Cal on the Wisconsin 20-yard line. We have a new backfield in for Southern California. We'll set it for you in a moment. In the meantime, it's Sandor in the tailback, and Summers is back at full, and he takes the ball from the bucking spot. Hits the center of the line and is stopped by Dave Siminski. After about a yard pickup, moving the ball to the 19-yard line, right in front of the goalpost. Ball equidistant between sidelines on the 19 in the territory of Wisconsin. The backfield for Southern California, Bozanic at quarter. Armas Sandoy at left halfback. The fullback is Leon Sellers. At right halfback, Al Kirkland from Bakersfield, California, making his first appearance. Senior right halfback. Short kick formation with the end split wide for Southern Cal. Dan Doyle in the tailback. Runs off to the right, takes the pass, and is hit behind the line of scrimmage on the 20-yard line to lose the yard. Coming in there is Jerry Werman, also Saminski. Boy, Saminski and Werman have both been playing fine games on the left side of the line for Wisconsin. And Amici has been doing a great job for Wisconsin, as Braven Dyer pointed out a minute ago. It's still 7 to nothing. Southern Cal over Wisconsin with about 9 minutes and 45 seconds left to play in the fourth period. Southern Cal has the ball on the Wisconsin 20, third down and about nine. They go again into a short kick formation with Dando in the tailback. The ball is Sellers, and he spins and hands off to Kirkland, who comes around off the left side, cracks in off his own left tackle between left tackle and end, and moves the ball to the 15. He was stopped by two Wisconsin men. See who gets up off the bottom of that pile. That's O'Brien getting up. O'Brien along with Bob Kennedy. And once again, we're having a little timeout down there for a substitution, apparently for Southern California. We're going to get a Southern California substitution coming in the ball game. Dan Doyle. The ball is resting right now on the 15-yard line, right in front of the Wisconsin upright. Sokoloxis will try for a field goal. Is that Sokoloxis? Let's check and be sure. That's right. Sokoloxis and Harry Welsh will hold the ball. Ready for it to be snapped back from center Lou Welsh. Back it comes. It's booted. And it is no good. It hits on the right side of the goal post and bounces back onto the playing field. Bounces back onto the playing field. The ball is being given to the official now. He'll walk it out to the 20-yard line, where it'll be first down and 10 yards to go for Wisconsin. That ball was just inches from being right through the upright. That's as close as he'll come to making a field goal and ever making it. I think everybody was holding breath here this afternoon. He sends a flanker to the left on the T formation. Haluska calling the signals off for Wisconsin behind the balance line. Takes the ball, fades off. Looks around, looks for someone to pass who is being chased now, throws the pass way downfield. There's Witt trying to get it, but it's out of bounds on the 50-yard line. Jerry Witt almost had his hands on that ball, almost got under it on the 50-yard line, but to get under it, he had to step out of bounds, and of course, that was all. In the backfield now for Wisconsin, Haluska at quarter. Bill Hutchinson is back at left halfback. Alan Amici Peters at left end. We tell you this because we're expecting a lot of passes to fill the air here by Wisconsin with nine minutes left to play in the ball game. Second down and 10 yards to go for Wisconsin on their own 20-yard line. With the end split wide yard and the tight key in the backfield, Haluska takes the ball and fades back, gets protection from three men, throws a screen pass that's completed on the 15-yard line. The receiver steps to the 25, is hit on the 30, and finally drops. Jerry Witt stepping all the way down to the 30-yard line, hit at the 30, and dropped on his own 32-yard line. Bob Van Doren trailed the play and finally made the stop from behind. So it's first down and 10 yards to go for Wisconsin on their own 32-yard line. 15 yards in the sideline across the way. Eight minutes and 40 seconds left to play in the fourth quarter with Southern Cal leading Wisconsin in a fine ball game, 7 to nothing. Witt comes to the flank on the left for Wisconsin as Saluska takes the ball and makes as if to go back and hands the ball over to his fullback, Amici. The big fella pounds without interference through the right side of the line, right guard and right tackle. Moves up to the 40-yard line, is hit at the 40, fights his way on to the 44 where it's first down and 10 yards to go for Wisconsin. George Timberlake making the stop for Southern California. Wisconsin's ball on their own 44. First down and 10 yards to go. Seven minutes and 50 seconds left to play in the fourth period. From a short kick formation, 
Wisconsin has a short kick formation going down there. And in the tailback is Haluska. Haluska throws a pass off to the right to Jerry Witt. Jerry on the 40-yard line stumbles and falls, but not quite down. He catches himself and drives down to the 50-yard line. Moves down to the 48-yard line as he's finally hit by Marvin Goo and driven out of bounds on the far sidelines across the way. Say, is that going to be uh, enough for first down? I hardly think so. It'll look like second and about two yards. Second and about two for Wisconsin on the Southern Cal 48. The ball is flanker off to the left is Gerald DeWitt. Second and two for Wisconsin on the Southern Cal 48. Haluska takes the ball, fades off to the left, is almost caught behind the line. He's going to throw the downfield. DeWitt's in the open and grabs that ball on the 15-yard line and is down immediately. Down by Lyndon Crow. Jerry Witt was out in the open for a moment, and Lyndon Crow closed in on him on the 15-yard line in one of the finest long passes of the day. Haluska to Jerry Witt, the right halfback of Wisconsin. So the Badgers have driven down now to the 15-yard line in Southern Cal territory. 15 yards into the sideline across the way with seven minutes left to play in the fourth period. Out come the Badgers in a hurry up to the line of scrimmage. Witt goes out to the flank on the right. Hutchinson goes out to the flank on the right. T formation in the backfield. Haluska takes the ball and hands off to Amici, who tries the right side of the line, the neck high tackle by Fouch. Walt Ashcraft banging through there, second and 12. Haluska back to pass. Andrukowski the target, it's incomplete. Makes it third down and 12 in Southern California's 17 yard line. Jim Haluska passing. Jerry went after it. Incomplete. The pass was caught, but caught up. That's the way. The end is put two yards wide. Haluska takes the ball and fades back, then pitches back to Witt, who is running wide on the 25-yard line. It's cut back on the 23 and dropped. So they lose from the 17 to the 23 as the tackle is made down here on the right side by George Timberlake. That's going to be all as far as Wisconsin's threat this time is concerned with Southern Cal taking over on their own 23. First down and 10 yards to go. And in case you didn't uh, catch up, with uh, the other bowl games, we'd like to give you uh, some of them in the uh, salad bowl. On their own 23-yard line, first down and 10 yards to go. Single wing over to the right. In the tailback is Dendoy. The ball given, however, to Sellers on a fake buck lateral. He's into the right side of the line and bucks up to the 25 to pick up two. Now at left halfback, in comes Bilkic. Bilkic in at left halfback. That means he'll be running from the tailback. Sears was injured in the early part of the game, and he's watching Zanuck, 207-pounder. And Al Kirkland is in at right halfback for Southern California. Second and about seven and a half. The ball is snapped back, and Sellers fumbles the ball and goes back to his own 15 to recover. And Gary Messner, in at left linebacker for Wisconsin, comes in to make the stop along with Carl Martin. The ball back on the Trojans' 15-yard line. Fumble by Sellers has placed the ball in front of their goalposts on their own 15. Makes third coming up at left linebacker. And Mester is in at right tackle. Mester's in at right tackle. We thought Dornberg was out. Mester's in at right tackle. Replacing Carl Martin. Wide flanker off to the right in a single wing. There's Bilkic back to throw a pass. And it's batted down right in the middle of the line. See who batted that one down. That was number 77. That's Carl Martin in there to bat that one down. Also, Norbert Esser, the defensive right end, was in on the play. It'll be fourth down coming up for Southern California. 18 yards to gain. They have possession of the ball on their own 15-yard line. And Des is fired here this afternoon. Cook standing on his own goal line. Takes a nice pass from center. Boots the ball downfield. It's a dandy. Look at that thing go. It bounces down on the 15-yard line. It's picked up on the 15 by Swaco. He's running laterally on the 20-yard line. It's hit at the 20. Steps back to the 18. And it's finally dropped by Nikolov. Boy, that was really a kick. Before we have the first play from scrimmage now, let's pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company. This is Billings, KGHL, the Northwestern. Right back here at the Rose Bowl in Pasadena, California. This is Al Helfer with Braven Dyer. Wisconsin from a tight tee in the backfield. The ball handoff will meet you through the middle of the line. A big fellow fights his way to the 30-yard line. Drives down to the 35 before he stops. Amici right through the middle of the line. Lyndon Crow stops on the play. Lyndon Crow making the tackle on the 35-yard line. So it's first three minutes and 35 seconds left to play in the fourth period of the ball game. The longest kick, let's see, the longest kick 
in the a Rose Bowl game is uh, 70 yards, I believe. Is that right? No, 68 yards. Raven, is that right? 68 yards? Uh, that's uh, absolutely right. You have USC. I saw that one. This one was 76. How about that, mm -hmm. huh? Doggone, we got a record here this afternoon after all. Well, let's see. Which is six pounds? He's in at left halfback. Harlan Carl. He's been having a lot of trouble with his knee. Haluska steps back and throws to Carl out in the flat. Carl trying to get away. Drives to the 30-yard line. Still on his feet. Fights his way to the 35. He's hit at the 35 and bounces back and is knocked out of bounds on the 34. Lyndon Crow made the stop. That was Harlan Carl taking the pass and stepping out of bounds finally on his own 34. There was some question as to what happened at 11. Aliska takes the ball, fades off to the right, looking for someone to pass to. He's being chased, then throws the pass downfield, and it is not complete on his own 45-yard line. Welsh knocked that ball down. It was Dornberg. Tight tee in the backfield for Wisconsin. The ball is taken, and Haluska hands off to Amici into the middle of the line. It's Dornberg, all right, at right halfback offensively. He's been playing defensively all afternoon, but Dornberg is at right halfback right now for Wisconsin offensively. A red flag on the field on the play. It's 7 to nothing, Southern Cal over Wisconsin. The flank tee to the right, the pitch back to Amici. Amici through the right side of the line, drives and pulls his way over to the 45-yard line in Southern Cal territory, where he's stopped by George Timberlake. So it will be second down coming up. They're about 20 yards in the sideline across the way as they send a flanker. Well, that's the end. It's a tight tee in the backfield. Aluska takes the ball and fades back, looks the field over, throws the forward pass. That is completed. Down on the 38-yard line of Southern California. That was Ken Peters who had to get down on his knees to grab that one. But that makes it a first down and 10 yards to go for Wisconsin on the Southern Cal 38. Ball is... Equidistant between sidelines on the Southern Cal 38-yard line. Aluska, Harlan Carl to the right. T formation ends for a couple of yards. Aluska takes the ball, fakes off to one man, fades back, throws the pass downfield, and it's completed on the 28-yard line to Kent Peters, and he's knocked out of bounds on the far sideline on the 28. Harry Welsh making the stop for Southern Cal. Ball on the 28-yard line. That's going to be enough for a first down for Wisconsin. On the West Coast can be mighty proud of the representation they've had this year. A flanker to the right is Harlan Carl. T in the backfield. Aluska takes the ball, fades back, looks for a receiver, throws one right down the middle into the end zone. Carl can't get that one. Incomplete in the end zone. Harlan Carl tried to get into the end zone. Harry Welsh went back with him. Neither could get a hand on the ball. It was way high over the heads of both players. The ball will be brought back to its original position on the Southern Cal 29-yard line. It's third down coming up. Hold on passes, trying to make a touchdown out of it rather than picking up that yard for first down and 10. Backer off to the right, a quarterback sneak, and the quarterback, Haluska, pushes his way down to the 24-yard line to make it a first down for Southern, on the Southern California 19, and time is being taken out by Wisconsin. Time taken out by Wisconsin with the score standing Southern California 7, Wisconsin nothing. Well, this uh, Trojan ball club here this afternoon has been fighting and fighting hard. Wide flanker to the right is Harlan Carl in the T formation. Haluska takes the ball, hands off to Amici. He busts into the center of the line. And I don't know how far he got. Just about a yard, and that is all. Frank Povich from San Francisco made the stop for Southern California. So that'll make it the second down. Right on the 25-yard line. Wisconsin's ball on the Southern California 25-yard line. Second and about 11 yards to go. From the T, Haluska fades back. Looks his field over, throws the pass way into the end zone. There goes... Cliff in the end zone, and he grabs the ball, then fumbles it, and drops it. Harlan Carl fumbled the ball in the end zone, took a pass, juggled it, and dropped it. And you can hear the fans from Wisconsin here in the stands this afternoon actually and literally groan. Harry Welsh was in there to help mess up that play. He'd trailed uh, Harlan Carl all the way. So it'll be third and 11 now for Wisconsin. Carl and again to the flank on the right for Wisconsin. Aluska calls his signals. Fades back and pitches back then to his halfback, Dornberg, who comes off the left side. He's being cut back at the 30, bottled up, but spins away and drives on over to the 24-yard line before he's hit and dropped. Lyndon Crow and Marv Goo making the stop for Southern Cal. Now it'll be fourth down coming up. 
Fourth down coming up for Wisconsin on the Southern California 24-yard line. Dornberg becomes the flanker coming off to the left over to the sidelines about two yards in the playing field. Haluska takes the ball and fades back. He's looking for someone to pass to. There goes Dornberg downfield. It's going to be Dornberg. It is Dornberg and it's over his head into the end zone. Into the end zone. So that incompleted forward pass brings the ball out into the end zone. Brings the ball out. So... It's original point on the 24-yard line, and Southern Cal takes over with 24 seconds left to play in the fourth period. Look at Dandoy. Dandoy's in the tailback. Ball comes back to the fullback, and Hahn is into the right side of the line to eat up some of the time. Red flag going down on the field. Messner to make the stop for Wisconsin, Southern California. Dandorf from the tailback runs wide behind three-man interference, gets up to his own 20-yard line, to his 25-yard line, and to his 30-yard line before he's stopped by Bob Gingrass of Iron Mountain, Michigan. There, the second's being counted off 2-1, and the ball game, ladies and gentlemen, is over. The West Coast, the Southern California Trojans have downed Wisconsin this afternoon, and Jess Hill will be one of the proudest guys in the entire country tonight. The final score, Southern California 7 Wisconsin nothing, and it's a case now of goodbye goalposts. They are already gone. The goalposts have been charged and taken. And Southern California players are carrying Jess Hill off the field. And rightly so, because Jess boys have played magnificently for him here this afternoon. Perhaps one of the hardest football games Southern California has had all year. They win it, the Rose Bowl is there, and the Tournament of Roses is topped by their victory right here at Pasadena this afternoon. I want you to know that it's been a tremendous lot of fun to again be seated here in the Rose Bowl at Pasadena, California. And it's been a pleasure to be able to bring you the play-by-play. -play. And I should like this afternoon, before bowing out for Brave and Dyer, to thank our spotter for Wisconsin, Mr. Ed Hansen, and our spotter for Southern California, Mr. Dick Bank. Gentlemen, I've certainly appreciated all your fine work here this afternoon, and I hope that you all have a very happy new year. And uh, for you, Ed Hanson, I hope that uh, Wisconsin comes back stronger than ever next year. And uh, Dick, I sincerely hope that Southern California goes right on as they have started. And now, this is Al Helfer bowing out of the picture saying, Brave and Dyer will summarize the highlights of today's Rose Bowl game for you in just a moment. Are you using another woman's waiting lotion? You are.